So let's go ahead and start implementing that now. So I'm going to go into Mono Develop, and I'm going to open up my list of animations here. And I'm just going to start defining some strings for them. And uh, just because my screen size is so small, I'm going to put them way up the top here. So it's just going to be a public string. And the first one is just going to be walk anim name. And let's also do, uh, what, what other ones did I do? I did run. So I'm just going to cut and paste these and just change the names. So instead of walk anim name, I'm going to say run. And I did jump, so I'll do jump anim name. And I also did idle, so I might as well put that one in there too. All right, so I'm going to save those off. They should be exposed in the inspector now. Uh, it might take a second for it to compile and show up, but here we go. Now, for this to work, you are still going to have to have the animations in your animation list. And all you got to do really is just type in the name. So my walk animation name is walk. My run animation name is run. So this saves having to copy your animation off, rename it, then reassign it again. I think this way would be a little bit easier for everyone. So my jump anim name is, well, jump. And my idle anim name is idle. Now, if we go back and take a look at the list, not everyone's going to have all these lists. Like notice here the swim forward animation. I only need it if you want your character to swim. Well, if you don't want your character to swim, uh, we should have some sort of way in the script to detect that, hey, you know, we don't have a swim animation. Let's not play it. So let's work with the four that we just did. And the first one I did was walk. So I'm going to come down to where it looks for the character to walk, which is down here. And I'm just going to check to see if we actually assigned anything to that animation. So if walk anim name equals null we're just going to return if I spell it right so we're not going to try to cross fade the, the animation because they haven't told us what animation to use yet and I'm actually going to do the exact same thing with the other four that we've made so far so here's the cross fade for idle and we call this one idle animation uh, let's keep going down uh, the run animation. So I'll paste this in. And we got the run and we also have jump. So I'll paste that into jump. And I'll take a look. Everything looks fine. Now, I know we were playing with some jump variables a little earlier in the script. Uh, I believe it's during the start or the awake. Uh, might, might have been during setup. Yeah, right here. Uh, we're adjusting the jump layers. Uh, so I'm actually going to change the name in here to jump anim name. And the same thing here jump anim name and we start off by playing idle oh, spelt it wrong idle anim name and I'm just going to clean up my tabs here and I'm just going to make sure that we uh, don't have anything else I know we still have to change the actual animations down here Okay, so we're going to change the name of the animations that we're crossfading to now. And we, since it's just a string, we can just cut and paste that in. So I'll change idle with idle anim name. Uh, walk with walk anim name. Run anim name with run. And also over here. I uh, haven't hooked up side. I have done jump. Uh, 
I haven't done fall or swim yet. Let's go ahead and take a look at these ones and see if they work. So I'm going to start it up. We haven't played with the camera yet, but we'll, we'll get there. And while well, the camera isn't attached to them yet, but we can move, I'm hitting my strafing keys and it, I don't have a strafing animation, so I'm getting an error for it. But that's all working. So let's go ahead and set the rest of the keys up that we're going to need. So I'm going to go back up to the top. And let me see, we got, well, we're going to need swim. So I'm just going to add that next. I'm just going to cut and paste. Swim. Oh, yeah, we'll just call it swim. And this is actually going to be the swim forward. So I'm actually going to make it a little more descriptive. Swim forward anim. Now I have not gone ahead and created functions for swim backwards, swim idle, uh, swim side to side. Uh, if you watch the tutorials while we were creating the animations and you actually want your character to swim, you should pretty much be able to figure out how we did it. It's pretty simple. But to be honest, I probably will want swimming in my game since it does look cool and I'll probably be adding them a little later on anyway. So we got swim. We got walk. We got run. Uh, we don't have side. So public. Uh, no sense typing out when we can just cut and paste. So I'm going to call this Stray Phantom. I never did look to see if I was pronouncing that right, but we should be used to it by now. Uh, we've got jump. We don't have fall. So I need a fall animation. All right. Now, just to test to see if... Uh, it's going to work when we don't have something assigned to those keys. I'm purposely going to leave them blank. And I'm going to go add the checks down there just to make sure that if we don't have anything assigned, it doesn't try to crossfade. So we'll just keep scrolling down. And we're going to start right here. So I'm just going to cut and paste this in. And we call this the strafe enemy. And I like to leave a little space and I'll cut and paste the name of this in here. And we've already done jump, but we have not done fall. And I'm just gonna quickly go cut and paste down here and swim as well. All right, so this was a fall. And it was not capitalized. And we'll get rid of those quotes. And the stray phantom, it was not called strafe, it was swim. There we go. So I'm purposely going to leave them blank in the inspector. And I'm just going to move side to side to see if uh, we get errors for it. And we did get some errors here. And what was my error? I pair, oh, I called it swim forward. And I'll just paste it back in. We'll see if that clears it up. And it did, so let's go ahead and start. And now when I strafe, I should still get the movement, but I should not get the errors. But I am. Let's just take a look here. I believe it's actually supposed to be double quotes. So I'm going to clear that, start it back up, and let's try strafing again. So there we go, we're actually moving. Let me see if I can get a little closer to the screen here. Rotate around. Uh, we'll work on the camera next. So we have to turn all those nulls. There we go, as you see, I don't have an animation for it. So I still get the movement, but not the animation. So that's not too bad. Let's go in and quickly fix all of these here. I'm just gonna start at the bottom and it's just a cut and paste. 
Since people said they like to see me make mistakes, <laughs> we'll just leave this in. Uh, let's see. And that should be it for them. And I'm not going to bother assigning the rest. Uh, it should be pretty self-explanatory. If you have those animations, go ahead, add them in. And don't forget to put the name. Uh, let me just take a look at the rest of these. Some of these I'm actually going to switch to private. Uh, well, the collision flags, I'm going to switch to private. So I'm going to go back in. We're going to go up to the top. Uh, it's already getting pretty cluttered. So let's hide some of it. And yeah, it's right here. There we go. So now let's move on to the camera script. We'll close that down. We got our character all rigged up and ready to go. Uh, main camera. And the only thing we need here is the hack and slash camera script, which is right here. And again, I don't want to have to look for scripts in here. I want to actually start adding them up here. So I'm going to open this script. Uh, close that down. I'm going to come up to the top and add component menu. And whoops, we'll add the string for the menu that we want to add. And I'm going to say camera. And of course, it's a string, so don't forget your quotes. And since this is a special camera we were working on ourselves, just mostly to learn how to basically move a camera around. Uh, there's probably better camera scripts out there, but I'm going to keep working on this one because uh, there's just a certain pride at doing it yourself. So I'm just going to call this uh, hack and slash camera. I'm going to save that off. And look at my component menu. Uh, it hasn't shown up yet. It, it can take a while. Plus, I'm live streaming on this computer as well as uh, doing my recordings and playing with Unity. So it's a little bit laggier than usual. I'm actually going to switch it to camera control because I want it to be in the same menu as the rest of the cameras. So that was just camera dash control, I believe. So I'll save that off again. And it's not there yet. It should be there now. Camera's gone. And there we go. And now that I think of it, we do have our player character script that I also want to add to uh, this menu here for our character generation scene because that's the only script we want to add. We don't want to add all the scripts. So I'm actually going to open up my player character script and add that in there as well. So that's under player character. And right up the top here, right above the class, we'll just do add component. If I spell it right, menu. Like I said, if I spell it right. and the string we want to add and I forget already so let me just take a quick look it was player and I just keep forgetting those quotes today player and I'm just gonna say player character stats so I'll save that off give it a couple seconds to uh, update and there we go. Uh, the reason why I'm adding everything to the components up here is so that later on when you're adding more mobs or adding other things to your game, uh, we got quite a few scripts in here and I don't want to have to come in here and start fishing around for scripts. I just want to come up here and be able to add or click my camera and just go camera control, hack and slash camera, boom, everything's added that I need. And that's the main reason why I'm doing this.